All right, good morning. It's day 13. Um, shit, I think. Yeah. God. Anyways, <laughs> I need to put a counter or something on my phone. Um, in any case, um, quick update. So, you remember me talking about how body weight can fluctuate given things like water intake, food intake, things like that, and they can really um, bump up quite a bit, right, sometimes. So big fluctuations are probably water weight, food weight, um, possibly even fat, but big fluctuations are likely not to be like, you know, a muscle, right, because it takes time to build muscle, so, um, you know, weight fluctuates up real big or down real big. You didn't gain a bunch of muscle or lose a bunch of muscle. You may gain a little bit. You may lose a little bit, but really for that, you're looking for long-term trends. Like a, what's a weak trend, right, with that? So in any case, um, <laughs> yesterday, uh, 4th of July, and I ate quite a bit. So, and I also found myself, I was really thirsty and I actually was drinking quite a lot of water. Um, like all day and all night long. Uh, and it wasn't too bad. It didn't make it too terrible to eat, but it may have explained why I kind of felt like I was eating all day too. In any case, um, yeah, body weight update this morning is a 145.2. So it went up like two pounds overnight. Now, a big jump like that is obviously not going to be fat. You can't add that much fat. Most people can't add that much fat, like just like that. Like there's a, there's a limit, right? Every, every process in the body has a rate you know, and that, that limits it. So in any case, just thought I'd share that. That's the body weight update. That's the morning update. Uh, terrible sleep last night. So I got to get this figured out. Um, I mean, it wasn't, I was just wide awake. I was just wired or something, you know, I, I just couldn't sleep. So it was probably about two or three o'clock in the morning before I actually got to sleep. So definitely have some sort of sleep disturbance right now. I don't know if it's related to the, the diet or not. So that's something that I got to figure out too. Uh, I still try to get as much sleep as possible, as much sleep as I can, right? Up to like a certain limit. You know, I slept till eight this morning. Just couldn't do it anymore. So I got up. Um, now I'm going to plunk down and try and get at least two videos edited today before, before my, uh, I have some phone calls and stuff that I needed to take care of. So all right, that's it. I'll check in with you later. All right, uh, finished my first shake of the day and time for some exercise. So getting started a little later than I normally do because I had a phone call to take care of. So that took about an hour. So starting an hour later than I normally do, but that should be no problem. So I'll do this and then I'll have lunch.
regards to the exercises I show, I don't want anyone to think that this is my physical fitness advice to them. These are merely the exercises that I do. So I'm not advising you on what exercises you should do. And in fact, you know, I'm letting you know that I'm not a trainer or a physical fitness expert in any way. My recommendation to you is to go out and engage with someone who has a professional program because this is basically what I did. This program that I use is a professional program or it's based on a professional program that I got from someone. And um, you should absolutely research the exercises on your own uh, and research how to do them correctly with the correct forms. Most exercises have multiple forms, so you know, find a form that works for you that doesn't cause you any kind of pain because if it's causing you pain, it's probably not, you're probably not doing it correctly. It's probably not the appropriate form for you. So do your research and just treat the exercises you see me doing as simply the exercises that I do to stay fit. Nothing more, nothing less. Second shake for today. I'm a little late on it, but I will uh, You'll notice the color has changed. It did add about two grams of cocoa to it. It's like somewhere between two to five grams, my estimate. It's, I added just a tiny bit of cocoa to it. Different flavor. It's just straight cocoa. There's nothing else in it, so, you know. Carnivore, no. Delicious, yeah. All right. Uh, and I started cooking dinner. Went ahead and got a roast on, and I'm cooking one side, and then I'm gonna flip it and throw it in the oven. All right, I don't have too much of an update. You know, you saw my second shake. So not much else to report there. Uh, just finished dinner. Um, I'm not very hungry tonight. So, um, yeah, so I had some of that chuck roast that you saw uh, for dinner. And that's about where I'm at. I don't have many updates today. So um, probably have some more uh, because it's the end of the week. It'll be day 14. So it's going to be the last day of... of of two dozen eggs. And after that we go, we go up to three dozen if we can manage it. So that'll be, uh, that'll be the big question. And how can we manage it? Because I don't think I can manage it in three shakes. So anyways, I'll cover that more in depth tomorrow. Um, that's, that's it. That's all I have for right now. So it is definitely evening. <laughs> Let's see, 10.30, I'm basically done with my shake. Um, this tends to happen sometimes at night, like I'm just kind of nursing it. I, I just I just can't do it anymore. I'm like, I'm done with it, so. I'm, I'm done with my shake. Like I was saying, like, you know, if I get to the point where it's at the end of the night, you know, I just can't drink anymore I'm down to like a finger you know or something I'm just gonna dump it out um, especially if I'm not gonna drink enough to make myself sick or something like that right before I go to bed I'll just say forget it what I like to do is you know I can I can stretch that out on the the shakes I drink during the day because it's, it's not a big deal, right? I can, you know, wait a little while, I go put it in the refrigerator for 10, 15 minutes and come back to it. But I'm getting ready to go to sleep now, so I can't stay up all night, you know, trying to drink this shake. I, you see, I do, do drink most of it. I'm gonna finish as much of it as I can, you know, leaving, you know, an ounce like that behind, 
you know, it's like three grams of protein, four or five maybe, with the, the milk and the collagen and stellar stuff added, so it's not, it's not significant. You know, it was, it was a pretty quiet day. Just kind of went through my normal routine, and um, I mean, I had a little bit of work, uh, some coaching stuff outside of outside of videos, so that was a nice change. Um, I didn't really show you that, but that was the phone calls that I had, one of them at least. Yeah, I did sign up a new client, so that's exciting too. So I always enjoy uh, getting to meet new people and just talk to them and work with them and help them try to achieve their, their goals and their vision for health. <laughs> it's why I changed what I do. I mean, I, I changed from being this guy who was, you know, up at the crack of dawn and work until late hours and do stuff like that for, you know, corporations and things. And that's, that's fine, right? Um, it was a part of my life and I enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't all, you know, a slog. And there was definitely a couple, some periods of time when it was um, really, really exciting stuff that I got to do. And I got to go to places that I never would have otherwise. So, you know, just because I had a different former life doesn't mean I don't, um, I didn't like that life. I did for that period of my life. And things changed, right? My situation changed and what I wanted out of life changed. And that's okay, right? I mean, you're allowed to grow and become a different person. And I feel like that more than ever now because the changing uh, my diet to carnivore was like this domino that just created this cascade effect in my life and has changed so much. My confidence levels are are different and you know even like to some extent my personality is different too it's been quite a shift for me and um, I'm definitely happier and more satisfied I'm more outgoing um, you know I'm not completely different I'm still the same person but there's some things that have have shifted and my personality and in my confidence levels and things like that so you know that's a nice thing to have as well anyways i think um i'll leave it there for tonight and we'll pick back up tomorrow morning hopefully i can get a good good sleep tonight so that's the goal so on that note i'm going to bed and i will catch you all tomorrow have a great evening